Well, you, you had a game plan going into last race, and it, it kind of got thrown out the window when the thing started. But, you know, what's your, your, you know, your hopes to, from your guys this year? Kind of the same as every year uh, at this meet. Uh, it's, it's just the start of the season for us and want to see where we are without showing our hand too much. You know, we want to um, we want to win the race and, um, and, and run well, but we don't want to take any risks. We don't want to get ourselves, you know, uh, get carried away and run too hard. So we'll probably try to start conservatively, <laughs> run as a group, and then um, and, and finish strong over the last last half of the race. But is it also difficult with this group of trying to pull back the reins with how talented they are? You know, it's a really mature group. They're really mature. They they have extremely extremely good poise. I mean, they're very they're a very poised group. And um, so no, it's not really that tough. You, you tell them this is what we need to do. This is how we need to do it. And for the most part. The guys that are running this this weekend get that, and I think they're they're extremely coachable. They understand what we're doing, they know why we're doing it, and they'll follow the plan. Um, is the team like I asked a couple of them already? But mm -hmm. do you think the team overall is more focused on a race by race basis, or do you think they're more geared toward nationals overall? You know, it's hard not to not to keep looking down the calendar at that nationals date. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, like I said, this is it's a you've talked to Colby and German, those are two very mature guys for their age. Um, they're seasoned, they've been, you know, it's their fourth it'll be their fourth time running at the national championships and that doesn't happen very often for anybody. So those two guys, um, as our leaders, they know how to get things done. I think they're very good at, at not getting carried away, not getting too excited, keeping their emotions in check and staying focused on the task at hand and trying not to look too far down the calendar to what's coming up. Mm -hmm. Talk about the, the girls' side, losing a couple of uh, your top runners from last year. You know, what have you seen from your girls so far? I mean, do you see that that yeah. they could fill those holes? You know, we, we lost some upfront power that, that we we just don't get back with losing Mahela and Felicity. Those, those two girls were both all American. They're they're just very talented, very experienced runners. But what I see this year is the the group behind the front one or two is is much deeper. Um, I think they maybe they understand now that they're going to be relied on or the summer they knew they were going to be relied on more so they they've come a long way over the summer and i think that um overall we might be a better team than we were last year even though we've lost a little at the front i think our two three four five six seven eight maybe nine runners are are very good as a group kind of the way the men came along when they first broke into the top 10 we had a, we didn't have any true front runners we had a really solid group that got to the national meet and did some special things now, now the girls team has been kind of creeping up the, the rankings. Do you, do you think that's a fair assessment of, of how they've been performing this year? It's hard to tell. I mean, I, I think so because I think we're, we're pretty good. But this, the problem that I have, just like most of the, the voters have, is that we, we haven't run any major races yet, so it's hard to see where we are. And what I see in practice every day is that we're, we're better than we were last year, much better at this time of the year. But how's that going to translate into races? I don't know. Maybe it's just a product of they've learned our system, how we train, and they're, they're They've developed a little skill at running the workouts the way they're supposed to be run, and maybe it's not a true reflection of how much improved they are in terms of racing, just that they've learned how to manage these workouts better. I don't know. We'll see. I think we'll learn a lot this weekend because this course will test anybody, and, and if you, you can't fake it on this course. Either you're ready or not. So you feel this is the, the first big contest? Yeah, this is the first big the test for the women, okay. for sure. The first time Natalia is going to run, um, we've got one of our girls is probably going to, our number two girl, Victoria Hand, is probably going to sit out the, the race. She's got a little foot injury that we're, we're kind of nursing, um, but the rest of them will all run.